In this video I'm going to do multiple things. The first thing that I'm going to do is to configure DHCP on Windows Server and then I'm going to configure DHCP Relay on VLAN interfaces on these switches and of course I have configured FHRP on these switches. The next thing that I'm going to do is to configure DHCP snooping on some of the interfaces on access switches. What is DHCP snooping? DHCP snooping is going to make sure that we are not going to receive uh, rogue DHCP offers from rogue servers. Basically, what I'm going to do is to say, uh, by default, all the interfaces that we have on these switches are configured as untrusted. This means that none of these interfaces are going to accept DHCP offers and they are not going to forward those DHCP offers to these uh, computers down there to access ports. But basically what we are going to do is to say this interface and this one, this one and this one, these are trunk interfaces that are facing to the DHCP server. We expect to receive DHCP offer messages from servers up here. So we accept it and we say these interfaces are trusted. Other interfaces are not trusted. So if a person comes and configures a device side down here and connects it to this search and says that this is a DHCP because this port is considered untrusted any offer from this device is not going to be valid and we are going to drop it we are not going to send it to any of these devices based on this because these devices could receive IP address and switch understands that we will configure a database of IP addresses and ports this means that we know exactly which IP address exists on which port and which IP address is mapped to which MAC address based on the information in MAC address table. We are going to create a database. We call it uh, DHCP snooping database. And then based on that, we can have dynamic ARP inspection and also uh, verify source. Uh, all of them could be using these uh, information from DHCP snooping. So let's do something. Uh, first of all, let's go to server and configure DHCP on server. That's quite easy. I have also already uh, added DHCP uh, feature, DHCP role as a matter of fact to server. This is a server 2012, but 2019 and 22 are going to be quite similar. I'm going to go to DHCP server and then go to IPv4. I'm going to add a new scope. I'm going to have a new scope for VLAN 10 and another one for VLAN 20. So I'm going to say this is VLAN 10. So I'm going to configure 172.16.10. Let's say it starts from 201 and ends to 172.16.10.250. And the length is going to be 24 bits. You could see that I'm not configuring a very big pool. This is just for test, but of course you can configure a nice and big pool for your uh, different purposes. And you should know, of course, uh, the length, the correct mask and everything about that. This is quite fast. Do I want to have exclusion for now? I'm not going to have any exclusion, but you can say some of these IP addresses should not be, uh, should not be leased to any device. So I'm going to go to next one. And the duration of these, of course, is something very important. I'm going to speak about this later. So let's go to next. And I want to add some extra features, such as 172, 16, 10, 254 as the default gateway. No more configuration for this port. And I'm going to activate it right now. Let's create another one for VLAN 20. So I'm going to say this is VLAN 20. And I'm going to configure almost the same thing here, but uh, with some differences. So 201 to 172, 16, 20, 250. And that should be 24-bit mask. So I'm going to go to next. No exclusion, no changes here. 172, 16, uh, 20, 254. This is the IP address that I have configured on uh, first sub redundancy protocol that I'm using. For me, FHRP is going to be HSRP. So this is the scope that I have right now. So from here, if I try to reach to 
172, 16, 10 to 54. This should be reachable, of course. Not from here, of course. Let me see. Uh, it should be 11, I guess. Yes. And also 2012. Okay. I could easily reach to the default gateways, and based on that, because I have configured FHRP in those interfaces, uh, those interfaces should be accessible through my uh, devices, the end devices, as a matter of fact, as well. So uh, I have connectivity here. So let's go back to my topology and see what we are going to do next. The next step in configuration is going to be configuring, um, configuring these interfaces, the VLAN interfaces that I have on this and this, with uh, IP helper address. IP helper address is going to be something like DHCP relay. Uh, but of course, IP helper could be used for multiple different purposes. So I'm going to go to VLAN interfaces on these switches. So I'm switch D1. I'm going to show run interface VLAN 10. You can see that VLAN 10 is configured with this uh, HSRP address. What I'm going to do is to say VLAN 10. And I need to say IP helper address. IP helper address is going to be the IP address of the DHCP. My DHCP server should be 203.203 if I am right. So let's see what the IP address of my device is. So I'm going to say uh, details. That's going to be 10, 10, 203, 203. So I'm going to say 10, 10, 203, 203. And this should be reachable because I'm sure this is reachable. So if I say do ping this, you can see that this is reachable. Okay, and I just forgot to do this for interface VLAN 20 as well. So I'm going to say IP helper address is going to be this one. So the same should be done on the other side. So I would say interface range VLAN 10, VLAN 20. IP helper address, IP, IP helper address is going to be 10, 10, 203, 203. So I have configured this as well. Okay, the next thing that is left is just to test my configuration. What I'm going to do is to go to each one of these devices and then, uh, you know, uh, change them to DHCP uh, recipients. And after they have received the IP address, I'm going to make sure that the trusted ports are going to be these. So let's go to, first of all, PC1. On PC1, I have already configured an IP address. And you can see that if I say show IP, it says this is 172.16.10.201. But this is configured statically. I'm going to configure this using DHCP. So what I'm going to do is to say... Uh, IP DHCP and head enter. So you see that discover and after that offer and then uh, request and then A finally, which is um, what was that? Acknowledgement. So this means that we have now received this IP address and we have received it from the server. How can I make sure? I can just go back to server and I'm going to close this and I'm going to open scope 10 and click on address leases. This says that PC1 has received this IP address through the HCP. Let's go to other PCs and configure them as well. So PC2, I'm going to say IP DHCP and this is going to receive all the IP addresses and you can see that all the uh, information and then here IP DHCP and then IP DHCP. So all of my devices could connect to the HCP server and have received the configuration from them. So I'm going to just save this so that next time that I'm running this devices, I don't need to change the configuration of them. Okay, so going back to uh, here, you can see that if I click on this, and I'm going to refresh here, 
I have these two IP addresses to VLAN 10. And for VLAN 20, uh, I have released two IP addresses. Okay, so everything is working just fine. Now let's go for DHCP snooping configuration. Like I said, uh, for DHCP snooping, we do not really configure all the ports. We only configure uh, the trusted ports. Now I need to say uh, show interface trunk. And it says that Ethernet 0, 0, and 0, 1 are configured as trunk. These are the interface that I'm going to configure as a uh, trusted interface. So I'm going to say interface range E0021 IP DHCP snooping trust. And, and then save. The same should go to the other side. So I'm going to go to here and say interface range uh, E0021 and that's it. Of course show interface trunk just to make sure that I have configured the correct ports which I have. So I have done this. Now it is time for verification. The first verification show IP DHCP snooping I guess binding right? Yes bindings and for now I don't have any binding because I have received the IP addresses when I just uh, had not configured uh, DHCP snooping. But what I'm going to do is to do something. I'm going to turn off these and then start them. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to say stop and this should stop as well. Come on. And then I'm going to start them. The same should be done on here. Stop, stop, start, start. So now if I go to PCs and say IP DHCP, uh, it isn't working, but it should be working. So the problem is not the configuration. I'm running this on Cisco IOL and Cisco IOL has some inherent problems. For example, you can configure the devices, but unfortunately you cannot really run all the commands. I'm going to change the uh, image a little bit so that I can see whether this is going to work or not. So this is switch A1 and A2. So I'm going to stop these two. I'm going to, uh, first of all, uh, because I want to have the configuration, I'm going to make sure that the configuration is already there. So I'm going to go to more actions on here and say export all CFGs. This is very essential because I don't really want to lose the configuration. And then I'm going to sub these two and change the images. So if I just sub this one and click on that and go to edit. I could see that right now I am using this 2019 uh, iOS. So let's change it to something else. For example, to this 2018. Maybe that would be a better one. So let's see if this is working. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start this. Uh, before doing this, I need to wipe it, of course. Or maybe no. Let's just start. I'm going to stop this, go to edit, and change it to that version. Maybe this work. And then I'm going to start it. And let's lock the lap. And now that I have started these two, I'm going to go to here, enter, enter, and see if this is loaded completely. So en show run include uh, snooping. This is the configuration that we have. And right now there is another weird problem with this version, but doesn't really matter. So if I say show version, you can see that this one is version 15.2. Okay. And this is for 2018. That's okay. So let's do the test again. Uh, show IP DHCP snooping 
and you could see that there are some options for this but I'm going to hit enter for now you can see that these two interfaces are trusted 00 and 01 and they are the trunk interface that I have and you can see that I am allowing option I don't have to stop them because right now I have Windows, DHCP server and options could be recognized by that and you can see that there is a rate limit here which I have not configured normally you should limit the rate so that you do not really say, allow the user to send a lot of uh, DHCP messages so let's go back to PC1 and try this one more time let's see if this is going to work unfortunately no but you already know the configuration so I just believe that this is not working on IOL images here so just to recap, I'm going to say show run. Uh, you can see the configuration. We have DHCP snooping enabled and we have enabled this for these VLANs. And then I have trusted the trunk uh, here and trusted the trunk here. The rest of the interfaces are simply untrusted and I'm not going to uh, change them. The same configuration goes on switch to and the distribution switches do not need any kind of configuration also the core routers do not need any kind of configuration